Hey guys, quick note, my brand new book, The Authoritarian Moment, is out this week. Go pick up a copy today. I think it's really important. It's about how all of the major institutions of American society have now been taken over and weaponized by the left against dissent. It's not just about how they did it. It's about how we take those institutions back. Check out the link in the description below and get a copy of The Authoritarian Moment. On the back of all of this jibber jabber about how everyone is going to die of the Delta variant. And again, let me remind you, these vaccines, it's amazing. I am like the opposite of a quote-unquote vaccine denier. I think these vaccines are incredibly effective. In fact, according to ResearchSquare.com, they put together a really cool chart showing how much a risk is lowered from COVID-19 after taking the vaccine. Okay, basically, number one, if you are below the age of 30, you are less likely to die of COVID unvaccinated than every other age group in the United States vaccinated. Okay, so we should start with that. We're talking about it like at a rate of 0. 0.0001. Okay, 0.0001% of people who are unvaccinated under the age of 30 will die of COVID. Okay, those are very, very low numbers. Nobody stops their life to prevent the chance of a 0.0001% chance of dying. Nobody does that. Okay, but how effective are these vaccines? If you are at the age of 30, then your risk from death of COVID-19 goes from 0.001%, which is one in about... Let's see, that was one in 100, one in 1,000, one in 10,000, one in 100,000. It's about one in 100,000 if you are at the age of 30, but like below the age of 35. Okay, it goes from that to 0. 0.0001%. Okay, if you're 35, it goes from like 0.005% all the way down to close to zero. And now if you go at the higher you go, the more the, the risk is higher at the baseline and then the more the risk is, is reduced on a percentage basis. So if you're 55, you had a nearly 0.1% chance of death from COVID-19 before vaccination. And now you're down to like a 0.005% chance of death from the vaccine, post-vaccine. So that means that your risk factors have dropped by a factor of about 20. The vaccines are incredibly, incredibly effective. But we are now supposed to, we're, we're now told that the vaccines are, are less effective, which is a terrible pitch for people to get the vaccine. Okay, so... The, the, this has led to a sort of box canyon for, for a lot of the members of the left. On the one hand, they keep downplaying the efficacy of the, of the vaccine. On the other hand, they want to force you to get the vaccine. Okay, you, don't, you wouldn't have to force people to get the vaccine if you just made clear how effective the vaccine is. You wouldn't. And if people chose to get unvaccinated and go about their daily business, that would be their choice. Instead, you're, you got this box canyon, as I say, of we are going to not give you any data. The data we give you are going to be wrong half the time. We're going, the, the data are going to be wrong in the direction of saying that the vaccine is less effective rather than more effective. And also, now we have to force you to get the vaccine. This is where Bill de Blasio comes in, the idiot mayor of New York City. Here he was explaining that it's time to, to mandate vaccinations. We've got to shake people at this point and say, come on now. We tried voluntary. You know, we could not have been more kind and compassionate as a country. Free testing everywhere you turn. Incentives friendly, warm embrace. The voluntary phase is over. We can keep doing those things. I'm not saying shut it down. I'm saying voluntary alone doesn't work. It's time for mandates because it's the only way to protect our people. Or you could theoretically just say, number one, if you're vaccinated, you're protected. And number two, you could stop lying about how the vaccinated are the real vectors of transmission. And the vaccinated are the, like, they've, they've split the message. And in splitting the message, They've undermined their own trust. And not only that, they've undermined confidence in the power of the vaccine in the first place. Nancy Pelosi is doing the same thing. She announced a mask mandate in the House again. Now, here's the thing. I believe every Democrat in the House has had the vaccine at this point. So I'm not sure exactly what she's worried about. But this is about control at this point. When people, when people don't give you the rationale for why they are doing what they are doing, when they won't give you the rationale for why you must follow their rules, that means that they are authoritarian. Okay, this is authoritarian nonsense. Here's Nancy Pelosi announcing that there were everybody in the House is going to mask up again. Everybody in that, again, the entire Senate, I believe every single senator in the U.S. Senate is vaccinated at this point. Every Democrat in the House is vaccinated. I believe most of the Republican House members are vaccinated. If they're not, that's their problem. But here's Nancy Pelosi saying that she's going to mandate masks on the House floor again. Consistent with the newly updated guidance from the Office of the Attending Physician related to the increased threat from the Delta variant of the virus, 
the chair wishes to inform all members and staff that masks will once again be required in the hall of the House. Members are reminded that under House Resolution 38, the Sergeant at Arms is authorized and directed to impose a fine against any member acting in violation of this policy. So they're going to fine people now. Okay, at this point, it is just about the control. So Kevin McCarthy said, okay, our guys aren't masking. Like, we're not doing that anymore. We're done. So Nancy Pelosi called him a moron because this is, this is so much of this right now is about not convincing people. So much of this is not about getting people vaccinated. It is not about restoring people's freedoms. It is not about giving people freedom of choice and respecting them as individual human beings. It is about control and othering and treating everybody who thinks differently than you as a bad person. The masks have, have become a sign that you are a grade A student. That you're the kid who gets the gold star in class, as my friend John Podhoritz said on the Commentary Magazine podcast. For people who are wearing the mask at this point, vaccinated particularly, this is just another sign that you adhere to the regime that, that knows best for you. you. You listen to the quote unquote experts. Now, here's the thing. If the experts don't present you data, they're not, mu they're not much kind of expert. And if they've shifted their position a thousand times based on the same data, they're not super expert, are they? But here's Nancy Pelosi saying that anyone who won't mask up, including the vaccinated, is some sort of moron. Mask mandate, Speaker Pelosi, any response to the backlash? Other response? That's the purview of the Capitol position, the official capacity uh, mandate from him. I have nothing to say about that except we honor it. Leader McCarthy, <laughs> Leader McCarthy <laughs> says it's against the science. He's such a moron, says Nancy Pelosi. McCarthy responded by saying, weird, because you weren't wearing a mask like in the middle of the pandemic when you're getting your hair cut. Correct. The mask is now the sign of virtue for a lot of people. The mask is the sign of virtue. You're a better person if you wear the mask. The mask is just a tool. The mask is just a tool that you are supposed to use in certain circumstances in order to prevent transmission when there's no vaccine available. You want to encourage people to get the, vaccine, the vaccination? Tell people that they are on their own and they get to make free decisions and then they can do risk assessments. You know, many people have come up to me who are unvaccinated in the past couple of weeks, thanks to the uptick in Delta, and said they are now thinking about getting vaccinated a lot. You know why? Because they're afraid of getting it. Because that's the way that people assess risk. But they don't want you to assess risk. They don't want you to use individual judgment. They don't want you to make judgment based on science. They want to tell you what to do and not tell you why they are telling you what, what to do. That's what they want. And that's ugly and it's un-American. It really is. Present the evidence for why you are recommending what you're recommending, and then I'll take it seriously. Otherwise, shut the up. Who's got two thumbs and wants you to like and subscribe?